Check out my blame, 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 blame. Yeah, I do my thing, 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 thing. Yeah, I pull that lane, 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 lane. I'm yeah. I'm double cut, I'm hooked. Man, I got me geeked up. What up to my big gang? Y'all know it's Big B and not the little, and I am back again with another video. So welcome or welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know what to do, man. Before we get started into anything, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, man, tell somebody, tell somebody to come kick it with Big B. All right, from the title, as y'all can see, we is on part two of the Stud Talk One on One, man. Obviously, y'all had love the questions and the answers till to um the last video so i was like why not come back with a second one man because i told you that if y'all wanted one i was going to deliver it to y'all so here are the other questions i had i just picked and choose questions i wanted to ask the same as the last video so we ain't finna get, waste too much time we finna get right into it man and i'm a little more calmer now I ain't tipsy or nothing like that like I was in the last video. Like I said, it was an amazing day. I got good news. And so I was just all over the place. But, of course, y'all like my vibes, man, because I, I come to y'all as I am, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get the chill beat today. Just We just finna get right into it, man. Okay, first question is, do lesbians always have threesomes with others when they are in a relationship? Um, I guess when y'all say that is like, do the um i'm guessing what they mean because i see this a lot when um there's a lesbian couple with a stud in the film they it's the film always tends to you know invite another film into the relationship me personally i don't think all studs do that because everybody can't handle that you know what i'm saying so me personally i wouldn't do it unless it's unless that's just our relationship it ain't nothing too serious we play around like that because that can be very tricky. You know what I'm saying? You have to watch who you bring into your home when it comes to your spouse. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's the film bringing them or the stud bringing them, you have to be very, very careful with that. And me personally, if you know your sex is good and you in a committed relationship, me personally, I don't think you should do that because people come back. People like to come back for seconds and then thirds and fifths and sixths. So me personally, I wouldn't want my woman bringing another woman in because, baby, it's going to be hella problems. And whoever I'm with, if I know you got some good stuff, I'm not letting you share that with nobody. So um, I think it just boils down to, to the persons and their relationship with their spouse. You know, everybody, everybody different. Whatever floats the other person's boat, you know. Some they like swingers and they like doing shit like that. Me personally, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm too crazy. And I don't like nobody liking what's mine. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm possessive. I don't really like to share, so I'm not even gonna share on no playful one night type shit. It's just it's just a big no for me. But I think it just boils down to to they relationship with each other, you know what I'm saying? So you just got some lesbians that's just that freaky. I mean, I mean, I'm freaky like that, but in a committed relationship, no ma'am. Now, if we just dating and this is a thing we want to do with each other, hell yeah, I'm with it. But if we in a committed relationship, no ma'am. Don't even bring that. Don't bring that idea to me, and I won't bring it to you. Now, I will say this though. I will say this though. Later on down the line, say we married. We've been together about 10, 15, 20 years. You know what I'm saying? I might start, you know, you know, spice shit back up. You know what I'm saying? Make us feel young again. You know, it might come in like that. Like, hey, babe, let you know. Ooh, 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 ooh. But right now, it's a big no for me. But I never know what I'm going to be like 10 or 15 years on down the line, man. I might start liking it and may think that's some stuff we got to do to spice our relationship up because, you know, it can spice your relationship up. You know what I'm saying? You got, like me, I get turned on when I see a female doing something else to a female. Like, I don't have to be involved. I come off of just watching. If you two fine females and y'all know what y'all doing to each other, I'm going to come off just watching. So, you never know how shit might be. I might, I might be saying that this shit now and later on down the line, 
I might start liking it, but as of right now, I don't like it, and I really can't speak on other stuff because that's probably what they like, and they got that type of relationship with each other. Why studs don't like other studs? Oh, that's a good one. That, that's that's a hot topic. Like that that needs to be its own video because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why studs don't like other studs because I don't have no stud friends. And every stud friend I have either either envy me now or they think I don't know. I, I really I really don't know. I guess they feel some type of way they might. They might, I don't, I, I don't want to knock Arab stud down because I don't know. I, I think it's just something within they self. They insecure about something. They they got they got some type of insecurity about something pertaining to self. So a stud might not be lacking what they insecure about. So they automatically don't like them. Or they know you can take their women or you look better than them or you dress better than them or whatever the case may be. Something better than them. That might be it, but... It just boils down to the person not being comfortable with themselves. Because me personally, I can be cool ass stud out here. But when it comes to me, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a cool as young nigga out here, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I keep it real with y'all. I'm that nigga. Who, who know? I, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a thing I talk about all the time. Like, I have associates. You know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, as far as, like, um... Them not liking. I I really don't know. I just it just boils down to them being insecure with themselves, man. Cause a, another stuff, another stuff can't do shit to me, man. I I'm secure within myself. I know what I bring to the table, what I can do, and what I'm capable of. So another stuff couldn't. You can look better than me, dress better than me, but you still won't put no fear in me. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm just that comfortable with myself, but. But that's that's a, that's a hot topic. I see a lot of studs on every social media talking about that. Like, why you gotta beef with me? Why you why you why you can't? Why we can't that be shut up and go get bitches together? You know what I'm saying? I feel like they just be in competition with you. I ain't never in competition with nobody but myself. So it's just like, what you in competition with me for? We all different people, so we all gonna be different in our own little way. So I don't know, man. It's weird to me. But hey, that's just the world today, man. Like, that's just the world. That's just how it is today. Is your spouse, parent not liking you okay in a relationship? No. No. If 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 you with somebody and they parent or your parent don't like the other person, that's not good. That's that's unhealthy. That's gonna cause problems with you and your mother or dad or whatever, you and your parent and your spouse and they parents so is that's that's a big no for me like if the parent or the family members don't like you get the fuck out like get the fuck on down like you wasting hella time because at the end of the day like me when it comes to my people i'm right for my people you know what i'm saying unless it's just unless you just really overstep your boundaries then we got a problem when it comes to my lady you know what i'm saying but if you just don't you just got parents that just they feel like you take their child away from them or you change their child or you do something pertaining to their child that they can't do and they don't like that. It's just, it's all a fucking, it's a big no for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a big no. So I wouldn't want somebody I'm with to be uncomfortable when it comes to family gatherings or if we invite of our family over and then one parent, one side of the family just there and the other side of the family not that's just a big no for me and when it come around it's drama that's a big hell no for me so that is not okay and if that's how she, if that's how it is i feel like whoever parent that's not okay with the spouse if it's not a like a good re if it's not a good reason i feel like you should put your foot down to your parent you know what I'm saying? I'm never going to tell nobody to pick somebody else over their parent because, no, I'm not doing it. I'll never do it. But like I told you, if I have to put my foot down, I'm going to put my foot down. You know what I'm saying? If you like it or not, you're going to have to respect it. That's basically what I'm saying. If they don't like it, they don't like it. But at the end of the day, your parent is going to have to respect it. And if they overstep that boundary, 
then we got a whole fucking problem. But if it's just you don't like me just because you don't like me, I'm not fucking with you, man. I'm not. If somebody I'm with parents don't like me just because I don't know some stupid petty ass reason, we got a big problem. You know, I don't want to be around that. I don't want that energy on me. I don't need that falling over into our relationship. So this is just a big hell nah, bro. Like somebody got to put their foot down at the end of the day. How do you keep a female in check? Um, I don't like how they kind of worded that, but how do I keep a female in check? I don't, I don't really, I wouldn't say I keep a female in check, but I lay shit on the table. And you gonna know, like, I allow this. This is how you respect me. And it's vice versa. Like, we, we just, you just, once you just lay everything out on the table and you let them know what's up, and that's just how it go. But if it comes to a situation where, you know, a female slip up and catch an attitude or do some shit you don't like, you just got to pull them to the side and tell them, you know, communicate, basically. You just got to communicate. Like, say, hypothetically, if we out in public and you do something I don't like, I ain't finna, I ain't finna humiliate you or embarrass either one of us and act up in public. I'm going to let you know that what you did was a problem. So when it become me and you, we gonna handle that. You know what I'm saying? It's all about how you handle shit to keep a female in check. Like if you just being immature and just arguing wherever you at and getting disrespectful and fighting and putting your hands on people, that she not gonna respect you because that's little girl shit. You know what I'm saying? So to keep a woman in check and to keep that woman listening to you and you know understanding that you serious, you got to come at a serious, you, you just got to come serious. Like, okay, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to deal with you when it's just me and you. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really, when it's an issue, you don't really blame the person. You don't put the blame on nobody. You just understand like, okay, I get what you did. But I didn't like this. And so this is what I need fixing. You know what I'm saying? I get what I'm saying. It ain't about controlling or putting nobody in their place. It's just about communicating and making them get what the issue is without making them feel less of themselves, basically. You know what I'm saying? That's how you keep a woman in check and her respecting you. Because you not belittling her. You just basically addressing the issue and resolving the outcome. Like, basically, you addressing the issue and y'all working on the outcome. And that's just simple as that. You, you handle shit immaturely, you're going to get an immature-ass energy. But if you handle shit with maturity and... A little bit of a, the right aggression, she gonna listen. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta keep it cool and keep it player and know how to talk to a woman. You can't just you can't just disrespect a woman and expect her to listen to you. Who finna? What women in 2022 finna do that? You know what I'm saying? It's all about communication. Communication go a, a, a long way. You know what I'm saying? So it's just how you address shit. And how you move about it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be player about it. It, it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I just got to be player about it. You know what I'm saying? You got to... Don't try to run game. Don't try to manipulate nobody. Don't try to blame the other person. No. Nah, you can't do none of that. You just got to keep shit straight how it is. I don't like it. I ain't like what you did. And this is why I don't like what you did. And this is what I need us. Us. It's always a us. It's never I, what I need you to do. Because now it's just sound like you're controlling. And y'all know when it comes to female, all it takes is, is the wrong word. And they going to be tripping. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just, you can't belittle her when it comes down to certain shit. You just got to know how to keep it playing. Should you vent to outsiders in your relationship? No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Nobody should know what the fuck we going through but us. We shouldn't go to social media. We shouldn't go to our siblings. We shouldn't go to our mom and daddy. We shouldn't go to our friends because it ain't going to do nothing but turn them against you. Because it's just like, if y'all know y'all going to get back fooling with each other, why go dog the motherfucker out to somebody? You know what I'm saying? It's just going to make shit weird and they not going to respect your spouse no more. Even when y'all get back together, it's going to always be weird. So that's why with me, I'm, I am big on not telling my business to nobody i'm just very big on that you know what i'm saying don't tell the main people any issues with us i mean y'all of course you gotta vent to your friends but it's just 
It's ways around it. It's ways to vent without telling your business and dogging your spouse to somebody. Like, you got to vent. Get that shit off your chest, of course. But there is just ways around it. But me, personally, I'm not... If we got an issue... I ain't talking to nobody about the issue but you. You know what I'm saying? If we ain't, if it ain't no therapist or nothing, I ain't talking to nobody about our issue but to you. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't let people. You shouldn't let people in your house that's not gonna stay around. Basically, that's that's just that's just what it is. Don't let nobody in your house if they're not gonna stay around because nine times out of ten you're not gonna. Everybody not going to be understanding for both sides. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you vent to, they're going to have your side. They're going to have your back tenfold. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you say, they're going to agree with because you they nigga or you they sibling or that's your parent. They're going to agree with you. You are, And then, of course, when you venting and talking to people, you ain't going to tell your side of the story or tell what, what you did to cause whatever issue. You're just going to talk about your spouse. You're going to dog your spouse out to these people. And, and that's going to get a bad tasting their mouth about your spouse and i don't never want that you know what i'm saying i don't never want nobody to disrespect my spouse or get a bad input about my spouse ever breaking up or not like i'm not finna vent to nobody about nothing when it comes to what we got going on at the crib you know what i'm saying this is that's why we in a relationship we talk this shit out you know what i'm saying petty shit like oh this nigga left the toilet up or this bitch didn't take the trash out cool finding daddy but a serious argument it should never it should never leave your house it should never leave your house and fall into somebody else's ears that's just a big no it's just gonna fuck up a whole lot of shit down the fucking line how do you communicate with your partner i mean um i used to be bad at communicating with, with people but i've learned my lesson that communication is really is really it even when you think not speaking is good, it end up being a wrong decision you ever made. So how do how I communicate now is just I don't hold shit back. Like I just I don't hold nothing back. You know what I'm saying? I've I've got um I've learned within myself to how to address shit, dress how to address my emotions to others without you know, disrespecting them or making them feel less of themselves because that's just what I want. If somebody got an issue with me, address it to me, but don't make me feel bad. Don't make me feel like I'm crazy or don't blame me. You know what I'm saying? Don't Just don't blame me. Yeah, it might be my fault, but help me understand that it's my fault. So with me communicating, I don't just address my issue. Like, yeah, you did this shit. I don't like it. You need to woo the woo the woo. I don't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? I express how I feel. I tell them what they could have did. And I express to them how they did it. And it could have went this way. And then we talk about what we do next time. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, 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 it's a lot of, you know, it's sometimes it's never what a person say. It's how they say it. So you have to get it in they had to learn how to be more sensitive with their words you know what i'm saying my mama always said it's not it's not how you say it it's not what you say is how you say it. and that i kind of understood that you know as a kid you don't really understand what your parents tell you because you being a kid but i get it now as adult i get it because it's been times where it's like nah this is just how i feel but i sit back later on and be like damn I could have said it this way. And so to prevent myself from having them aha moments after the argument, after you pissed the fuck off, I'm even pissed the fuck off. Now we just not communicating at all. I done kind of learn how to do that shit head on. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about your choice of words and your energy behind those words. You know what I'm saying? Because you can come off, you can come off aggressive. You know, but it's just your choice of words that you use in that particular moment. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you, that's why, and then that's why they say you think before you speak. You think before you speak. I used to just speak before I think. And that got, that got me nowhere. So now I think before I speak. Communication has gotten very, very easier for me. Because I don't just 
blurt out shit. I sit back, I take in what you said, and so I look at all my I look at all my different ways of you know what you could have meant. Even though you said it this way, okay, she could have meant this. So now I'm finna address that shit to you. Like, okay, I, you said it that way. I get what you said, but here's another way you could have said it to make it better for me. I'm not, and not even trying to babysit my feelings. It's just basically, you know, if you come off too aggressive, you can't come off aggressive when you're trying to communicate to one another. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if we in a heated moment, I'm going to be like, hey, listen. I get what you're saying. I want to talk about it, but you're upset and I'm upset. That ain't going to be not, do nothing but lead us into a, 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 a worse argument. So let's just take the time, recuperate, think about what, think about what's up for real. Because when you, when you, when you in a moment, in a heated moment, anything can come out. Some shit you can, don't even mean may come out. So it's always nice to just not walk away, but come like step back from the situation for a little while until everybody's ready to sit the fuck down and talk about it like two adults you know what i'm saying so that's just my way of communicating how long should a person take before moving on how long should a person take before moving on um i really can't answer that question everybody is different you know what i'm saying everybody is different everybody heals differently and everybody moves differently you know what i'm saying me personally i've moved on quick than usual and I had a couple relationships where it took me a minute to move the fuck on. It's just all about who the person is and your history and all the the memories y'all created with each other and, 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 you know, how much of an impact that person made on you. Now, if this person didn't make such a big impact on me, yeah, about a week later, you might see me cooped up with another female or on a date with another female. But if you had a big impact on my life, me personally... I'm not going to be able to move on so fast. You know what I'm saying? It's If you had a big impact on me, I'm not in the stage where I have to heal. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really speak on why studs move fast because we just, um, I guess I can say studs, they, we, sometimes we tend to run away from our feelings and emotions because sitting in your emotion is like being a female. See, when you sit in your emotions, you're going to cry. You're going to be sad. The female in you is going to come out. So us studs, I'm going to say us because this is how it used to be. Us studs, we tend to go on to the next female because it's easier. You know what I'm saying? The quickest way to get over somebody is to replace them. That's how I used to live back then. Oh, okay. You want to break up with me? Cool beans. I'm going to go lay up with this motherfucker because I ain't going to think about you no more. You know what I'm saying? And that was because I didn't want to sit in my feelings because I didn't want to feel like a, a female. Because I didn't want to be sad. Because, you know, women tend to... Women emotions are different from males. Males can hide their feelings and move on about their day without even acknowledging them. Us females, we tend to sit in them. You know what I'm saying? And being a stud, you don't want to do that because that's the feminine in you coming out. And that's just you not having a complete balance with your feminine and your masculine side. So that's why a lot of studs, they tend to run to the next motherfucker. But... Now, I mean, and then it's just you really don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I can answer that because at the end of the day, you really don't know. Everybody's different. But me personally, if it just goes to if you had a big impact on me, I ain't going to be able to move on too fast. But if you didn't really have an impact on me, I'll be able to move on so quick because it's like I really have nothing to dwell on or be sad or hold on to. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, is dog in your ex okay? No, it's not. No. <laughs> These are funny questions. Is, is dog in your ex okay? No. Embarrassing your ex is never okay. If you had, if you, to me personally, I feel like if I said I love you, I laid in your bed, we made memories and shit like that, it's never okay to dog you. Because at once upon a time, I loved you. Once upon a time, you was you was mine. You was my person. Once upon a time, I would have killed for you. Once upon a time, I would have beat any nigga ass for you. So all that shit can't, all that shit just not going to go out the window. Because once I love you, I love you for life. You know what I'm saying? I may not be in love with you, but once I love you, I love you for life. So I'm never going to disrespect your name. I'm never going to drag your name through the mud. I'm never going to embarrass you because... 
once I love you, I love your name for life. Like, I can name, I can dog a couple of exes right now. A couple of exes done did me dirty, but one thing about me, why all my exes tend to come back to me and want to be cool with me because we, we don't have bad endings. They know I'm never going to disrespect them. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple of exes that I'm cool with that done, you know, drug my name a little bit. You know, it's going to, you're going to have them times if you, you know, if you did them dirty, you're going to, they're going to drag your name a little bit, but it ain't going to be like, no, excuse me, I'm going to drag your name through the mud. But they always came back and apologized to me because they know I they know at the end of the day I never do them like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause once I fuck with you, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you on a different type of level though. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with you how I used to, but just know I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I never I don't like having bad endings with people. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. I don't. If I come encounter with you, if we create a bond and it don't work out for us. I don't like bad endings. I just, I just, I don't know why. I really can't explain why, but I don't like bad endings. But to answer the question, I never dog an ex. No, ever, ever. Like I love the shit out of my ex. I thought my ex was my person. I moved her in. I opened arms with her son. I made my other room her son's room. I, I did a lot for her, but it ended up badly. She was my karma. You know, she was my karma for how I used to act. And it hurted me deeply. I, I, It hurted me once upon a time. And I never, ever, ever dogged her name. And I could have. I could, I could have sat here and made a video off of everything she done to me, but I didn't. Why? Because I said I was in love with you once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? And just because you did me dirty, I don't need to retaliate and act the same way you acted or put the same energy you put in you know i'm I'm loving I, i'm all about love baby you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day it's never good it's never good you know what i'm saying shit like that can fuck a person up and i don't want to be a person's fuck up like that so and i don't want nobody to look at me differently like how you met me what made you love me I want you to remember that. You know what I'm saying? I want you to remember that because when you leave me, you gonna I want I want to. It's I think it's this thing in me where it's like I want to leave my mark with everybody, and I and I'm blessed that I left my mark with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like how I came into this relationship, I left. I was a good person. I was not disrespectful publicly, and so forth and so forth. So. I want to leave my mark. I always want people to fall back. Like, yeah, that was, you know, my ex, but it was just wrong time. And good person, good friend, good woo to woo. I want them to remember the good in me. I don't never want nobody to not even want to mention my name to nobody or be embarrassed to be my ex. So it's just like, I want to leave my mark. So how I came in this bitch, I'm leaving this bitch. That's why all my exes, they... They, <laughs> I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. So I'm gonna be. That's not player. Dogging people, dogging exes, friends, any dogging any. That's not player at all. I'm not finna know. Cause in trying to embarrass some, trying to embarrass my ex. That's that's I'm embarrassing myself. You know what I'm saying? I can never go out like that. You know what I'm talking about? So, yo. What be the best part about beginning a relationship? I mean, uh, that's a kind of a, um odd question. What be the best part about beginning a relationship? I mean, getting to know that person, I guess. Like, I think, I think, um, I think the best part about a relationship is, um, I guess, seeing the real person, what people see on the outside. Like, I guess what others can't see, I'm able to see. Like, oh, I would have never thought you would. would. I just would have never thought. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to answer that question, but I'm going to just go off of why, why I like meeting what draws me into meeting a new person or why I like meeting a new person. I don't know. 
It just be little shit. You know what I'm saying? It be the corny shit, I guess. I don't know how to answer that question. I don't know how to answer that question, but um, making memories. Making cool memories, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But all right, gang, I'm going to let that be. All right, gang, I'm going to let that be the last question in this video. So y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and tell somebody. Tell somebody to come kick it with B. Oh, and also, drop it down in the comments of what other cool videos y'all want me to do or what conversations y'all want to have. Drop it down in the comments, man. I like sitting down, talking, answering questions, y'all, y'all, whoop, whoop. So, drop it down in the comments of what y'all want me to be to talk about. And, you know, I'll be back, gang. All right. Yeah, I'm fucking whole truck out right now. These niggas be mad at me. I'm a flex right now. Right up on me, got a glass for it, got it up right now. Check out my blame, 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 blame. Yeah, I do my thing, 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 thing. Yeah, I pull that lane, 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 lane. Yeah, I'm double cut, stop hugs. Man, I got me geeked up.